Alright, what's up y'all? It's like a fan here. As you see by the title of today's video, I'm going over the top 5 point guard builds in NBA 2K20. Now, this video is more intended for all the new people getting the game. I know with the Black Friday sales and all the, you know, the Christmas stuff coming up, people are going to be getting 2K a lot and I want to steer everybody in the right direction or if you're making a new build or just if you're interested to see what my opinions are of the top builds. So, anyway. At number one, we're going one through five in this video. I know with the big man video that I did yesterday. Also, if you're new to 2K, go ahead and check that out as well. Even if, you know, if you're like with all your friends and stuff and you're, you're all trying to figure out the right builds, you can go ahead and just see how my thoughts are on this game. Now, I'm going to tell you this. It's very oriented on the point guard being able to, to dribble and shoot, obviously, and the bigs being able to, you know, it's about what you would expect. But if the bigs can shoot as well, that's a nice bonus, bonus to it. But anyway... What I'm showing you right here is a playmaking sharpshooter. So what I'm going to pause it on real quick, I would advise go 6-5. Now what you're going to see is to get 86 ball handling, which is going to be by far the, the most important thing to your point guard that you need. And you're going to see that throughout this video that whatever you build this, like your, your build as, you're going to want 86 ball control. It allows you to do great uh, dribble moves, this behind the back that is by far the most game breaking thing in the game. And it's real clutch as far as the pick and roll goes. Now, the taller you go, the better your block and defensive rebound and interior defense go. And at 6'5 to 6'4, the sweet spot right here, I don't think that you're going to see at 6'4, you don't really lose too much as you're going to see, like as opposed to what's at 6'5, as far as the ball handling and speed and three pointer goes. But at 6'5, you gain so many more defensive things and just more height in general. Now, I would advise go low on the weight. You get your lateral quickness and acceleration up. Strength doesn't matter as much, in my opinion. If you're below, like, probably 75 strength anyway, I wouldn't advise to go with any. Now, you're going to see just a little pro tip. <laughs> I would advise to go, like, what, what did I show for the weight? 178. You don't lose anything, but all you do is gain a interior defense. So just keep that in mind. I, I would just say 178 is like the perfect weight. Now, when you go the low wingspan, you get 87 ball control. Like I said, 86 is going to be clutch. Now, as far as as far as takeover goes, sorry, I'm out here stumbling on my words. <laughs> um, as far as takeover goes, sharp, shot, and playmaker are all kind of trash. I don't think they're, any of them are really worth it, but if you have to choose between the three, I would probably say sharp, considering that's what you're going you're gonna to be doing a lot of with that build. Another big thing as far as takeover goes is you're going to want to pick the takeover you think that you're going to do the most of. So if you're a very pass-first player, playmaker takeover won't be that bad, but playmaker takeover just in general is a pretty bad takeover it's it's not very beneficial to anything so anyway moving along speaking of playmakers we got the pure play as the number two build so i'm just showing you a couple of key attributes i think you should put them into the way this game works you know you have to you have to flex a couple ratings to determine your badge upgrade points so regardless hopefully you get the point of that by now but anyway just showing you the long term best way to build this build you have 11 finishing, 15 shooting, 27 playmaking, and 9 defense. The defensive rebound, they give big points as far as like how many defensive badge upgrades you get versus like doing block and interior defense. And I'll show that as we get further into the video. But anyway, as you can see, the difference between 6'6 six, six and 6'5 six, is pretty massive. I mean, the speed difference, you, you lose 3 speed. I believe it's like 5 vertical, stuff like that. You just lose a lot of speed, a lot of excel, and a lot of ball handling. I think it's like 7 ball handling. <laughs> now, here's the thing. As far as your wingspan goes, you already have 95 ball control of this build. Now, if you want to go a little higher as far as just helping you play defense, I think it would be okay to do just at the fact that you only lose one three-pointer while doing that. And here's where we talk real big about this build. Now, slash takeover, I think is the best takeover in the game. Now, here's the downside to it. With this pure playmaker build, you only have 82 driving dunk, I believe, or no, it's 80 on the dot. Now. With the pure play, the way the 99.9 .9 works, long story short, when you get your player fully maxed out at 99.9 .9 overall, you're going to have 85 driving dunk. You can indeed get contact dunk package. You can even get them at 99 overall with the 84 driving dunk. So just keep that in mind. If you're looking long term, I'd say slash takeover just in general too. Slasher takeover is the best in the game in my opinion. But if you have to, and like I said, if your play style is very different from that, Go ahead and go pure play or go with the playmaker takeover. I think that's a solid, a solid decision as long as that is what your play style is like. Now, at number three, I have the two way sharp. Now, this is the only build in the top five that I'm showing you that doesn't have 86 ball control. Now, the way this game works, too, is when you hit 99.9 .9 overall, 
like I said, you gain plus five to all your attributes. So whatever you're seeing right here, you can have five more of everything. Now, you're going to go ahead and see when you go a lower, a lower height, you can indeed actually get the ratings you need. But to be 6'2 or 6'3 kind of hurts as far as being just something in this, a point guard in this game. You're going to be really small. But if you want to embrace the fact that you, you'll play perimeter defense, that's great and all. But I'm here to warn you, there's a lot of dudes out here that run something like number four right here, the, the playmaker defender. Or no, the next one, sorry. <laughs> there's a lot of dudes who run this something like the next one where um the playmaker defender where you have great driving ability or even number five too but you have great driving ability and it abuses the fact that these guards can't play good defense now you're gonna see when you go six two versus six three you get a lot of ball control i'm showing you six three right here so you're gonna end up with i believe 82 81 ball control so at 81 ball control you can actually get 86 long long term now another thing too don't worry too much about that 86 ball control because you gain ball control through the game and all your uh, all your attributes. You gain a couple attributes through the game, but they don't show where you'll get, like, let's say you make two three-pointers. Boom, now you have, like, 83 ball control, something like that. So I guess basically what I'm saying is if you build your build to get, like, 85 ball control don't trip because you'll be able to do that behind the back stuff i'm talking about pretty easily as the game moves on it's just not automatically or off rip so anyway number four we got the playmaker defender pie chart so this right here is a true all-around build now the reason i have it so low is the 10 shooting badges and, and only the ability to get them on gold and that's it's a tough thing to deal with you budget like literally you're gonna have three gold badges and one bronze it's tough to deal with that and you're gonna have about 69 three-pointer even if you go low on the wingspan too and another thing too is that it's hard to budget your badges now you're gonna see with this build again defensive rebound is major as far as you know the defensive badge upgrades so what i end up doing is i don't think you're gonna want 11 finishing you could get away with 10 just as just as you can get away with not necessarily but you can get away with like 10 shooting but definitely 10 finishing but anyway my whole point with this it'd be cool to have 10 10 21 20 i think that's a lot of badge upgrades and you could do a lot with this build now the downside to it like i said and you're gonna go you're gonna see i'm talking this is where i'm highlighting the blocks versus interior defense and everything like you just don't gain as much badge points and i think it's like the more you put into a rating the more points it gives you for your badges so to upgrade the things that are the biggest on this chart are the real key components now with this build i would definitely recommend to go high on your height don't go 6-6 six, six, though 6-6 six, six is always a bad thing like you see you lose five ball control you lose like a ton of speed a ton of vert especially but anyway with this you can easily get the 86 ball control again the reason i have it so low on the list is because of the lack of shooting and i just think there's a there's a big fault to it when you talk about like what the build can do but anyway i would probably go one tick up on the wingspan you still keep the 86 ball control you get your three pointer about as high as you can get it with this build and then i would go slash takeover again slash takeover is insane and now let me let me detail one more thing about this build too again how i was talking about the pure play with the driving dunk having 85 driving dunk is pretty massive now with this it's even crazier because you already have it so I would definitely go slash takeover with this again the only downside to this build versus the pure play is just the lack of like shooting badge points and and the three-point rating itself now athletically it's insane it's crazy if you can play with an outside big all the time it's great but if you're stuck with an inside big you're gonna have a lot of problems it's gonna be a tough build to run with you're not you don't have a great shooting ability and to be restricted to running pick and roll with this build is gonna really set you down now almost the same with this one this is the six five uh slash sharp or you could even go six four i'm gonna show the different ways you could build this now again like i said this is the slash sharp pie chart you're, you're gonna be a good like ball handler uh it's gonna lack a little bit in the playmaking but and a little bit in the defense which kind of hurts in those two areas especially because <laughs> to have that lacking like i said it really hurts but with all the right upgrades you can end up having like a good set of playmaking badges and defensive badges you see get 13 and 8 21 shooting 16 finishing i think that's a good budget i wouldn't really build this build any differently now the thing that sucks about this as well and this is why i have this build at number five at full capacity this build is insane i mean this is probably the best build in the game but the fact that you have to get it to 99.9 .9 to even do what you probably want to do with the build which is what i'm talking about the contact dunks which like i as you can see the best you can get is 83 no matter how you build the build so 
it's tough to deal with. I mean, you're going to have to grind this build to at least 80, 97 overall to contact dunk the way you want to. 80, uh, 84 driving dunk, which you can get at 96 overall, will be enough to even just get a contact dunk. But like I said, I, I feel like the reason I have this so low is because it's such a it's such a long-term investment. But anyway, I'm just showing a couple of different heights you can put it at. But for the most part, that's all for the vid. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, feel free to drop a like, sub if you knew, all that good stuff. Turn on the noties. Check out some gameplay if you enjoy the 2K content as well. I don't really just do only these videos, but like I said, I was really doing this because I know a lot of a lot of new people are going to be getting the game, and I wanted to get this out and kind of, you know, just, just lend a helping hand. But again, one thing I really want to tell you guys is don't take me so seriously with this takeover stuff. I have another video if you want to check it out. It's uh, I showed the ratings that get boosted with takeover on and bro slash is just crazy slasher takeover is by far the better like probably definitely the best one in the game lockdown is probably number two um shot creator playmaker and sharp all kind of suck but i'll put it like this sharp is the best one if you shoot threes obviously that's that's a pretty obvious statement but anyway well i'll let you check that out for yourself but regardless i hope you all enjoyed the video like i said if you did feel free to drop a like sub if you knew all that good stuff turn on the noties if we could get this to like a thousand likes that'd be tight i'd really appreciate that but Regardless, I hope y'all enjoyed. Other than that, take it easy, man. Peace.